Hi everyone, my name is Megan. I'm a librarian from the Twinverse branch of the Mercer County Library. And today we're going to be doing a self-care craft that um, I like to call worry monsters because they look like little monsters. And it's going to be a combination of like a deep breathing exercise with an artistic outlet that can help you express your emotions or your stressors or your anxiety. And uh, this is what they look like. So we're gonna be using watercolors, and this is one I've done, and you can name them. I gave him a name, his name is Bob. And what we're gonna be doing is creating these splatter art um, pictures with our breathing exercise. And you choose the colors based on your emotions, what you're feeling, um, and that will kind of help you translate to paper the emotions that you're trying to get out so okay so what we're going to need for today's craft is cardstock so heavy duty because we're going to be making it wet with the watercolors so you're going to need something that's going to stand up don't use regular paper um so yeah cardstock or you can use um, watercolor paper and you just need a cup or a bowl with some water paintbrush and a set of watercolors you need a fine point black marker, a straw, because we're going to be blowing, and a pack of um, sticky dots. We're going to be using these for the eyes. You can use whatever color you want. Um, if you don't have sticky dots, you can use googly eyes, whatever you've got handy, or you can just draw circles. Um, so, okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to take your cardstock and you can decide how many eyes you want. I think this one wants to have three eyes. So you plop your stickers on there first. So those are gonna be my eyes. What you're gonna do is you're going to take your water and your brush and you're going to really kind of saturate this paper really well because we're going to be pooling, we're gonna be making actual pools with the watercolors so that it can flow when we're breathing out on our paint. So the idea behind this is a kind of a meditative breathing if you've ever done yoga. There's that standard count of deep inhale of five, count five, and then exhale of between five and 10 count. And it can really help to center you, to um, help you relieve stress. I know when I can't sleep at night, when my mind is just racing and things are going and going and going and I can't turn my head off, I do the deep breathing where I do a count of five in, really deep inhale, and then I do a count of seven because I just, that's what is comfortable for me. That's what I do, a deep deep count of seven out. And that helps me relax and just kind of get what's in my head out of my head. So, okay, so I don't know if you can see here, but our paper is nice. Okay, so you can see that the paper is nice and saturated here. We've got, you know, real damp and this is what we're gonna be putting our color on. Okay, now, choose the colors that either make you feel happy or help express the emotion that you're trying to get out. And you're just going to put those colors on there however you feel because we're going after how you feel here. And you wanna make sure that this is really wet, so just add more water if it doesn't look like it's puddly. And you can mix colors. I like this pink right now. And then I'm gonna rinse my brush some because I'm gonna mix with some blue. Get that on there. I'm 
Okay. Now this is what our paper looks like. We've got a real just kind of puddly mess of colors. And next we're going to take our straw and we are going to breathe out onto the paper. So okay, what you're gonna do is you're going to take a strong deep breath in, count to five, and then breathe out through your straw and you're gonna blow all of your colors all over your page. So, okay, I'm gonna get that on camera. Okay, so deep breath in, count to five, and blow out. And you can turn your page and you can repeat and in. And just keep going until you've got your splatter pattern that makes you happy. Okay, now after that, and you can do some focused thinking while you're doing this, you can think of a stressor or an anxiety, and while you're breathing in, just imagine that stress, that anxiety leaving your body when you're breathing out, when you're blowing onto your canvas to make your art. And, okay, so after we've blown, all of that paint everywhere, this is what we're left with, which you can then, I'm gonna take the eyes off and you'll be left with your eyes. Okay, and then you're gonna take your marker and you're going to decorate however you want. You're going to have to let your canvas dry first because it is damp. You're not going to be able to um, draw on it until it's dry. So it'll take probably 10, 15 minutes before it's dry. Okay. So I'll switch to one that I've already got painted that's dry. We've got our canvas here. It's the same colors. It's the pink and the blue. This one only has one eye. Take that eye off. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna decorate it however you want. Take your marker, you can use a fine point marker, you can use a thicker marker, whatever floats your boat. It doesn't have to be a black marker, it can be colors, whatever makes you feel happy. And then just go ahead and start decorating. You can give them names if you want, which I think is funny, so I was doing because it just kinda, makes me think of the emotions that I was thinking of when I was making my my splatter art. So, like this, finished product. This is blue and purple, this is Bob. And here's another example. We've got Francine, she's happy. And then, you know, they don't have to be happy. They don't have to be cheerful. Whatever it is that you've got going on in your head that you're trying to get out, just go ahead and get that out on that paper. You're gonna take your deep breaths in, you're gonna breathe out, and you're just gonna blow away all those tensions, all that anxiety, and you're gonna make a fun piece of art while you do it. And if you decide you wanna hang them on your wall, you can do that. You can shove them in a drawer because you're just putting those emotions away and you never have to look at them again whatever it is that makes you happy with the worry monsters that we're making today. So, okay, thank you for watching my video and I hope everyone enjoys making their worry monsters and getting some of those stressors and tensions and anxiety out while you're breathing in and out and releasing that stress. Have a good day.